Hello! Hello! Hi. How's it going? Hi. Hi, hi. But for God's sake, there's no time. We're in media res. <laughs> oh, We're yeah. continuing a I previous forgot. adventure. Where there's no time exactly for introductions. Were we in media res? Were we in media res here? <laughs> well, Egbert, as I'm sure you remember, yeah. the skeletons <laughs> said that we just completed some kind of ritual. We don't know what it is. Yes. It could be anything. Yes. We could be but... in mortal danger right now, Egbert. There's no time okay. for Egbert shenanigans. Right do we now? not have time to do an intro, though? Surely we've got oh, time. Okay, to well, we've we had to get on, through Corazon. it pretty quickly, Egbert. So I'm Corazon, the human pirate row. Come on. <laughs> I'm Egbert, the dragonborn paladin. Uh, I'm, I'm Dob, uh, the half-orc bard, and I, I know what in media res is, so don't <laughs> ask me about it. <laughs> See, Dob gets it. Okay. I'm uh, Prudence, the tiefling warlock, and I'm already instantly very stressed, Corazon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm Merylwen, the wood... Anxiety oh, spiked. <laughs> I'm getting anxiety right now. <laughs> uh, and I'm literally everyone else in the world. And I thought that you were saying we shouldn't start the stream just yet because the resolution wasn't high enough. Uh, we're, we're, on medium, we're on medium res. res. We're on medium res, res Johnny. Let the 1080 pop in. <laughs> All right. We're like, on 480. The thing you have to remember. The thing we have to remember is that anxiety is just calm leaving the body. So <laughs> where were we last time? Right. Let's um, push well, on. As, as two of the five of you seem to have remembered, we are in a town. Nudge, yes. nudge. Yep. Yeah, Corazon, you're in the town already. I'm in the town oh, already. Oh, Mary, oh, I'm oh, on oh, the oh, get out of I'm that. I'm the town. <laughs> I'm below the town. Prudence, you have time yeah, for one yeah, of your yeah, prince yeah. excursions Prudence right now. Prudence rises from beneath, <laughs> beneath <laughs> um, the town. Yeah, there we so, go. Um... Woo. You're outside an orphanage and the skeletons have just dropped the truth bomb on you that actually the day of sort of uh, team building and empathy was my um, truth shields. A, a big ritual. Um, so you are effectively promised to the hammer. Uh, they have used this to gain leverage for their demands. Uh, and basically you now have to renew the bond. Uh, well, you have to yeah go, go renew the bonds that, that power the hammer and keep the skeletons going. <laughs> Otherwise... As they put it, uh, skeletons get sucked into hammer, adventurers get sucked into hammer, then hammer explode. <laughs> okay. So oh, cool. yeah, it's, it's basically it's, it's, it's do or die on this one. The skeletons are like, Isn't sorry, it always buses. with us though. Isn't it always do or die I with this? I did More wonder what that fortune teller meant when they said you will die in an exploding hammer. It didn't make <laughs> sense to me at the time. You thought it was a euphemism yeah. or something. I thought I was being yeah, I thought I was being done out of my one gold piece, but I guess. I guess they're accurate. Um, all right, skeletons. So, what do we what do we need to do to avert this terrible hammer explosion that we're obviously uh, keen to avoid? Sounds bad. Yeah. Um. Uh, is is ritual is little little summoning ritual. Um. Skeletons and bosses have to return to um. Uh. Uh. uh is called Bumble. <laughs> and um. Really, was it called that? Yeah. Uh, We've come so far. <laughs> skeletons um, have to summon e Ethelfrith, ask for blessing on Hammer, and then uh, it is not die. And what are the chances of Ethelfrith, Ethelfrith uh, giving his blessing? <laughs> One more uh, time, Legbert. Yeah, yeah, Ethel, he's, Ethelfrith. He's, I feel like I'm spitting up a hairball. He's, he's a pretty cool guy, but not if you keep say his name wrong so maybe <laughs> okay. oh, sure. someone else talks to it <laughs> yeah, yeah maybe leave the chat into someone else <laughs> skeletons <laughs> kind of have working relationship with <laughs> ethos, ethos how do you even manage you oh. don't even have lips it's hard enough to say with lips hey we have a lot of time <laughs> to practice <laughs> you've been in hammer you say know. beer uh, how, how uh, my i'm slightly more concerned friends best friends about oh, how about how Hit we with return concerns. to Bumble because if you remember, not uh, all of us had such a good time there. And no. the, what are you talking I about? I had say, a great time. I won't say who had a bad time. I won't say who was grounded to paste. But the main <laughs> thing is, is that like we're, oh, we're no welcome back in Bumble. It's one yeah. of the many towns where we were run out of town on a rail. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. Yeah. yes. That so is the problem. We, so the simple solution... But we saved them from a skeleton battle them... royale, so they owe us. Uh, we yeah, also we... started the skeleton battle yeah. royale. Yes. We should bring them but a great they, gift, like a it? huge amount of, of honey. <laughs> well, <don't... laughs> I, okay, Are you I'm giving a us a side quest, Dob? Because we ain't got no time for side quests. <laughs> Dob, have you How come about... into large amounts of honey recently? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need a lot of honey. <laughs> 
There's, uh, and I've there's got a, a great rate for you guys. <laughs> Bees. Marilyn, what? There is a lot of popcorn and a lot of marrows. Maybe Honey if something popcorn. isn't completely smashed, we'll take okay. some of that. So the slimmer the snack of the season, about? we're going to take, we're gonna take the all the hot new snack of the season is half a marrow full of popcorn. Everyone yeah. is eating it. All we're the... still in the town, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, right, why I... don't we just disguise ourselves and turn and just walk a stroll yeah. into town bold as brass, but disguised as... Dob, finish my sentence. Bees. Orphans. Bees. We, just, bees. we come into town as a traveling family band of bee people. <laughs> people. Uh, yeah, and then people. the honey gift will make sense. the peoples. <laughs> like John, Paul, George, hey, hey, Ringo, and peoples. Stuart Sutcliffe. Like two birds around. <laughs> okay. Um, Skeletons. Is the summoning ritual in the crypt? The original crypt? Yeah. Okay, good. Right. How about we like skirt around Bumble and try not to walk directly through it? Oh, why Crypt don't we just in approach in the dead of night? Of that calms people down usually. <laughs> okay, well let's let's go to Bumble in the dead of night and we can maybe scout it from a distance and see maybe everyone's eyes fell out while we were away and mm. we can go in <laughs> and it'll be fine. That's a possibility. Yes. yes. Or we could zip line in excitingly. We could build okay, a zip line, I'm, zip line into I'm the so, middle of town. Yes, I'm so I want in. to do that one. That one's yeah. all right. Fun. Let's scout a let's scout a high hill around Bumble. There's it's no cooler way to line. enter a town than by a zip line. <laughs> yep. In the dead of night. Hammer. Boss is getting hammer. Yeah, uh, we could get hammer, hammer, I suppose, couldn't we? All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that yeah. The, and then the hammer will somehow travel to Bumble. Yes. Yeah. Well, to a hill outside yeah. Bumble, because I still to want to see the zip line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skeletons take hammer with boxes to heal outside Bumble, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, cool. The tallest one. Because I'm just saying, skeletons, you could zipline by, like, holding one of your arms over the zipline and being like... Yeah. Uh, Why do you mean the the tallest one? Uh, It's probably this one. He points out a skeleton that's a good six inches taller than the rest. (laughs) I see. I see. Uh, Okay, all right. I I jump in the hammer. I follow in, in the hammer. All right, in, dive. Yes, yeah. everyone gets in Gets in the hammer. Um, uh, it, um, I mean, dex, sleight of hand checks, please, from um, Corazon and Dob to see who wins at billiards, obviously. Okay. Yeah, all right, Dob, double or nothing. All right, seeing as Still I've already rolled, those. I will take that bet. Yes, please. Um, <laughs> and wait, a dub- yes, double or nothing. I yep. choose nothing because I rolled a four. So you bet nothing. On okay. What did uh, you roll? I rolled twenty-five. What? <laughs> Dob pots every single ball on the table in sequence. Yeah. Without ever letting yeah. before I get touch to, the key before I get to touch it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he does it in one right. go. <laughs> one shot, and they all. Don't <laughs> cool. really how billiards works, but there you go. So um, probably that all happened before everyone else got into the hammer because we were the first two in. Well, yeah. I think the. Yeah, I, well, let's say okay. the others were busy looking at uh, the the thing Seal Gaiman has wrought. He has now pulled down all of the hammocks and Aww. constructed some kind of weird nest with like an entrance tunnel, <laughs> like and a tomb's kind nest. Of, yeah, yeah. Uh, as you <laughs> oh, as you dear. sort of stand there, he just kind of like flumps his way out and goes, "Whoa!" As if to say, "Where have you been?" Um, busy. I go give busy him a seal. hug. But never too busy to give you a cuddle. Mm. And he tries to bite you, Egbert. Ah, ah, yeah. I think we all need right, to I loudly, more discipline into your life. <laughs> I loudly say, all right, Dob, rack them up. Let's play billiards. But we just finished. Are we playing ag- again? Yeah, nice nice try. Nice try, Dob. What, are you, do you not want to play? Are you forfeiting? I, <laughs> I, I feel like I've done something wrong. Corazon, yeah. are you bullying Dob again? No, I'm just asking if, you, if you because to I'm here for it. If so, <laughs> because we haven't done it yet. I'm just saying if we Let's wanted to play, how would you? Um. All right, I guess uh, Dob you... doesn't want to play, so that counts as a win for Corazon. Sure. <laughs> um, you are ejected from the hammer. Um, <laughs> again. Yeah. You'll run you out land... of the hammer on a rail. <laughs> you land in a field. Um, oh. Oh, a field. Hang on. on a hill. A field, you say. Overlooking, looks like Marilyn I mean, got there first. Yeah, I'm just very trying not to press the stop video button. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
you you look uh, you look down the hill and you think the skeletons must have got lost somewhere. This can't be Bumble. It's 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 un unrecognizable from the town you got run out of. What's uh, it look it like now? now? Looks like a fortress. Um, the wall. There are large walls with guard towers. There are like rows of spikes leading up to Bumble. How did they build um, this is, without any skeletons? There is a large drawbridge. Um, one of the skeletons actually puts a, a hand on your shoulder and is like, Skeleton would like to know. Skeleton suspects scabs. Oh, no. Scab skeletons. Wait, I'm oh, receiving dear. a psychic message asking if Prudence's mic can come down a little from a spirit no. called Producer John. <laughs> producer John. I don't, John. Know, what, I don't oh, know what it means. Does he produce a rich, a rich bounty of food? Every harvest. <laughs> yes. He he has a honey farm. He's uh. got an apiary. <laughs> his his so alignment is chaotic, helpful. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, but... so I'm looking at the I'm looking at the fortress. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, fortress implies heavily fortified, but maybe it isn't. Mm, maybe there's I'm a big afraid... hole in the side. Maybe it's all made no. of paper. Wait, um, maybe that's how they go up so quick. Uh, yeah, make me a uh, wisdom perception check, please, Corazon. Okay. That Can I also do that? I just want to also look around. Yeah, anyone who wants to have a good yeah. look at the I'll yeah. four. Yeah, I'll take a look. Set, uh, uh, why not? Eight. 23, Johnny. 23. Delightful. Um, you scan... How did everyone else do? Four, so why bother? <laughs> eight. Uh, okay. Ten. 13 minus one. Is okay, uh, so Prudence and Dob, you you vaguely know where Bumble is. Uh, you you sort of you can see something over there, and you've got an inkling that that might be Bumble. Um, the um, so uh, Egbert and Merylwen, you see that there are guards patrolling the walls um, and going into watchtowers, um, and that indeed there sort of seems to be quite a large barracks now built within the walls of Bumble. Um, and Corazon, you uh, zoom in with your telescope mm -hmm. to see um, that there are quite a lot of posters and signs up on the walls outside of Bumble, but also kind of uh, on the, uh, the interior walls of, of uh, the, the walls, mm. uh, and just yes. generally plastered all over the city. You you can't quite make out the illustrations, but they're of they're sort of five different mugshots. And they one have of them large. Red and one of them green. You, yes. Um, oh dear. And you can just out, just about make out slogans such as "Watch out for the dread pretenders" and "Not so handy men" and "Shoot <laughs> on sight, very nasty oh. people." Shoot on sight. Um, guys, there's. Uh, I think probably we're not welcoming Bumble to a deadly degree right now. I can see wanted posters for us. I think the fortress is to keep us out. So... Oh, man! What better, what better time than to zip line into town dressed as the B rock band, the Beeples? <laughs> We're not doing we that zoom, plan, are we? <laughs> we could zoom over the barracks and we could say, never mind the barracks, here's the Beeples. <laughs> oh, my God. Inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. Well, um, now we have to do the plan. Oh, <laughs> We've got oh, to skeleton. entertain the people of Bumble during these trying times, maybe. The skeletons yeah. are like, yeah, you can see why we had to trap you into doing this one. Uh, <laughs> skeletons see... reckon bosses might have said no, and frankly, that would have been reasonable response, but now bosses got no choice. Oh. Um, if Well... The people of Bumble are going to love bees, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, well, we, we when we made a pub, a we mascot. called it the Bumblebee. Yeah. So did we? I mean, really, it's all yeah. together. We made them a pub. Why are they so angry? <laughs> we made them a pub. I'm seeing a lot of strategic synergies here. Um. <laughs> I've got to get on this zip line, guys. I've got to get. I've got to be zip lining. How about? How about we we like ninja the zip line, and I cast on all of us pass without trace. Ooh, tell me about Ooh, Pass Without Trace. what that is. Uh, so a veil of shadows and silence radiates from me. Not good for a rock band. <laughs> masking you, masking myself and my More companions like from detection. And for the duration, each creature I choose within 30 feet of me, okay, 
has a plus 10 bonus to dexterity stealth checks and cannot be tracked except by magical means. Huh. Cool. Uh, Pretty good. So anyone nice. that receives Does it bonus, operate while on a zip line? Um, I think we all have to go in very, fairly quick succession because you all have That's to be fine. within 30 feet of me. We'll just um, zip line down in a lump. Yeah. It was just... <laughs> yeah. Um, just yeah, a, yeah, zip line no conga trace. down to the village. We, okay. we have no trace, no footprints, nothing. Mm -hmm. So we do a sneaky right. sneak, but it's only right. for an hour. So we've got right. to get some hours. more than it. We can get this thing wrapped up in an hour. Mm hmm. How would it? How would, <laughs> work in, how would we work in the B rock band idea? I mean, if well, our, our disguise is blown, that would be our disguises so that when the spell breaks, we're like, hey, it's our entrance. Yeah? Cool. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. We can be disguised as the Beeples and then use stealthy yeah. stuff to get in. <laughs> yeah, if the stealth fails, we can explain that we're the Beeples. Yeah. And we've just. And, and we're here to commemorate the, the, the 50th anniversary of Bumble's founding, which is. I like Merylwyn's much cooler, much more dignified idea, Corazon. So <laughs> I'm with Merylwyn. Both plans can work in beautiful harmony. Both plans harmony. can work together, yeah. yes. Speaking of beautiful harmony, we're going to have to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to work on some songs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let it be. Yeah, let um, it be is good. <laughs> Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club B. <laughs> I mean, hard days B. You would. Yes to be. At B Road. All right. Good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so, so, yellow just talking about the bean. <laughs> wow. Boo! Uh, Minus one inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Um, Too late, I've got it already. Marilyn, you were just talking about putting out the sound of silence, which is a completely hey, different. Anyway. Different band, but good. <laughs> um, how about uh, Marilyn attaches a rope to a tree and fires her biggest arrow at mm -hmm. the fortress? Yep. And then yep. that can be the beginning of our zip line. How about that? Yep. Love it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, and then we'll do our stealthy zip line thing, possibly mm -hmm. yep. dressed as bees. Yep, so, but maybe the people who want to dress as bees can dress as bees, and the people who well don't everyone want who's to, not dressed as a bee is going to have to pretend to be a roadie, which is less yeah. glamorous. Mm. So, Road bee. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. As we um, call them, worker bees, <laughs> as we call them, drones, as we drones, call them. as we call them. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, Merylwen, <laughs> could you make me a dex check uh, using your bow's proficiency? <laughs> Yeah. To, uh, <laughs> <is gone. laughs> I'm sorry. Carry on. <laughs> to, uh, to try and, and fire this this arrow with uh, a line into Bumble. Okay. Everybody else, if you want to, you can make me either a nature or survival check to try and gather materials to make yourselves look more like bees slash sure. rock stars. I cast disguise sure. self on myself. To look Wait, like what is, Paul B. Cartney, who is the lead yeah. singer of the Beeples. So is it? Yeah. It's a Dex. Dex what throw? Sorry. It's, it's just a, a Dex check, just but you're using check. your bow, so you but can I'm have using the my bow. <laughs> your proficiency bonus. Okay, so I roll twelve. Oops. Seventeen. All right. Yeah, you do it. Um, so <laughs> you're kind of um, four. <laughs> I dress as a wasp. <laughs> it's, I roll twelve yes, to disguise yes, myself <laughs> as. John, Honey, and Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> Dob, sidebar, did a bee like fly past your window as this stream started? How dare you? <laughs> I, just, I don't, I want to know where the ceiling what a is good coming thing it from. Did. What a good thing it did, Prudence. <laughs> okay, sidebar ended. Okay, uh, so yeah, basically from the top of this hill, you loose an arrow. Uh, and where the wall sort of ends, um, sort of on the other side, the, you can just sort of see some rooftops poking up. But there's one of a large house that is um, closer to the wall and also taller. And you manage to just whoop, hit it into like the part where the the roofs kind of come together, just like just under there. Uh, and it's a decent zip line. Uh, you will have basically you won't travel very far past the wall, but you will travel far enough that you can sort of basically collide into a house and then drop into the street sounds good. bumble so mm -hmm. that's where you are with it um egbert you have dressed yourself as a wasp um i'm going to say that uh <laughs> the markings you have put on your uh <laughs> thorax are actually very offensive to bees and oh wasp no in general so uh you might want to watch out for those um i'm stinko star yeah 
<laughs> egg for E. Egg for E. Stingo. 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 So we've got oh, Paul McCartney, John yeah. Lennon, <laughs> and Lennon. Lennon. Stingo Star. Stingo Star. Yeah. Um, if anyone, uh, like Prudence and Merrill, I'll pieces. tell you what's still available is Sting, if anyone wants to. <laughs> Just special guest. Yeah, the, 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 the fifth member of the Beatles. In a way, George. George. In a way, Beatles. George Harris, some bees. Yeah, yeah. some bees. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, Prudence, how did you do on your check for bees stuff? I absolutely refuse to take part in the bee. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> right. Although, 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 my name would be Yoko Ono Bees. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration for that. As well. Yeah. Okay. All so right. we'll say that Prudence um, is the uh, the tour manager. I'll be the tour manager. Fine. Yeah. Otherwise, I refuse to partake of this ludicrous. Are, are you in the band or are you carrying all these amps? I point to a large stack of amps. <laughs> Prudence, oh. your character's name is B. Hiverson. <laughs> it's just a it's just a B name. Okay. A B theme name. <laughs> okay. We're all having them. You I was looking it. for the pun, Andy. I, nice. I just couldn't find it. Okay, yeah. fine. A. Puri Jones, that's your name. Yoko. <laughs> oh, no, bees. <laughs> yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> okay. So, Egbert looks like a really bad, offensive wasp. Karazhan <laughs> has used magic to make himself look good as uh, as one of the beeples. Uh, you roll a 12, <laughs> Dob. So, let's say that you're, you look like the one who's... Like people would see you and assume that you'd be the first band member to leave due to personal issues slash substance abuse. <laughs> uh, they're like, "Wow, that's the there he is. That's that's him. There's that there's that one. Yeah, that's oh my god. That's what you look like. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, and so yeah, in in one way or another, you you are ostensibly ready to try and infiltrate Bumble. Um, I mean, ostensibly. Woo! Uh, so Marilyn, do you want to cast? Um... <laughs> you really do. I don't... This disguise is pretty great, Marilyn. I don't know if we're going to need it. Marilyn, I want you to cast that spell harder than you've cast any spell ever before. Yeah, I get a, a burned leaf of mistletoe and a sprig of spruce. Ooh. <laughs> Naturally. And, and I cast. I go, and then we're all gone, and like a mist descends. Tremendous. Like even when you're outside the mist, you can't quite see that the mist is there. Because mm. otherwise, you'd be like, "Why is there a cloud of mist?" Yes, I see what you mean. It's it's blended well. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well in that case, you are ready to tackle this zip line. All right, and we <laughs> have to stay. We have to stay within thirty feet of each other on That's the zip right. line. So we have to okay. maintain a constant speed on the so zip line. So I'll go. <laughs> I'll go in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Radio six feet radio apart, field. Yeah. socially yeah. distanced, six feet apart on the zip line. Yeah. Okay. 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 Can't yeah. Or, on a zip line, James. or we all hang on to Egbert and we slide in like a wrecking ball. Also yeah. an option. Yes. Love it. Yeah, Egbert will provide yeah. the most cushioning when we... Actually, no, he might be too spiky. We'll be cushioning Although... Egbert. We'll be smashed <laughs> into him. <laughs> yeah. Either way, I'm already yeah. getting ready on the zip line. I'm ready to go. If people want to hang on, they can hang on. All right, All right, I jump on. I it. jump on right. onto Egbert's bicep. Okay, I like jump this. onto Dob's back. Okay, ready to go. I hold on to the and tail. And we zip line, presumably. Grab my one round the middle. Trouble whatsoever. Well, you, uh, Egbert, I'm going to ask you to make me a strength athletics check. Okay. Um, could everyone else make it. me the same check, just to make strength sure you athletics. don't fall off the dragon ball? <laughs> uh, uh -oh. That's twelve yeah. plus four is sixteen. That's a twenty, but not natural. Just a 19 plus one. Lovely. Six. <laughs> uh -oh. 12. Uh, that's a critical one, Johnny. Oh, <laughs> job. Don't you smile, Corazon. You're holding on to me. Oh, my God, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, dex saving throw from you, please, Corazon. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> uh, there, must, there must still be some honey on my palms. <laughs> and I slide off. Oh. It just like slowly down. 14, yeah. okay. Uh, you manage to... You kind of... If anything, you almost <laughs> propel Dob further away a little bit as you jump off his back and grab onto Egbert cool. and Give take his place on, yeah. on his arm. Can I try um, and si like, scissor my legs around Dob's waist to stop him from falling? No. 
Uh, Not a critical one, apparently. Um, so, uh, so looks like I'm leaving the band earlier than planned. <laughs> um, so, Egbert, Prudence, and Corazon all continue down the zip line, but pretty much as soon as you start, Dub just kind of pings off and <laughs> going, just sideswipes Meryl then and takes her Bye. out too. Yeah. So they both just oh no, and they land in the in the dirt, and you see them. You see your friends sort of sliding away, and then uh, they seem to become more vivid as they leave the aura of. of <laughs> no! Oh, we needed Meryl then. No. <laughs> The stealth, um, the stealth mist, it's gone. We're on, we're on the zip line. It's a and they're inescapably traveling baby. into town. Yeah. Two, two bees and a tour manager. All right, Merowen, we got to catch up. We got to catch, we got to catch up with them, Merowen, because they, their story won't stick if without <laughs> the rest of the band. They're going to ask where's John Honey and Honey and Lennon. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my god! How high up are we? Uh, like it's kind of one of those hills that that you know really falls away, like oh no. such that you might you might set up a zip line on. Um, <laughs> so uh, the three of you kind of just you're gathering speed. Are you... Okay, I, Meryl, I, when I, cut, I say we I cut the line from the I cut situation. the line, and what? I cast Featherfall. What? No. Oh. Okay, on yourself and the others. And the others, yeah. Um, okay. <sighs> Uh, so yeah, you just slowly like, <laughs> like are you your speed is is arrested um, as you were really gathering momentum there, but suddenly the line goes goes slack as Corazon just before Corazon at cuts it. it, I jump on the rope and start <laughs> ziplining again. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll sure. catch up, guys. Okay, uh, yeah, there is a sickening lurch in your stomachs as uh, the 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 line falls away and you you go into free fall. But then now you start to slowly sort of just drift feather-like down to the ground. Still outside land... the walls, presumably. Oh, yeah. You land on a pillowy soft blanket of grass looking up at the, a beautiful uh, blue sky with fluffy white clouds in it. And you think, that well. did not go well. Um, well, friends. You... Yeah. All right. Reset. Reevaluate. <laughs> everyone back to one. Back, yeah. I run. And I just say, like, put everyone in the mist. <laughs> Okay, yeah. yeah. So, before you got there, you will have heard a small horn go like, ah, ah, oh, from man. the top of the wall. No. And you see, like, there's a man kind of like pointing and talking to somebody else, uh, and a guard with a very sort of grand plumed helmet, evidently some sort of watch captain or sergeant or something, goes to the the soldier with, who blew the horn and starts talking, and then they all sort of start looking, um, and then. Um, everyone disappears. Cool. Uh, can we re can we regroup? How far away are we? Can we get oh, back I, up to I'm the run, others? Can get I've down run to and us? caught up. You're hiding okay. in my mist. We're just like in a mist, right? Right. Yeah. You can see okay. out. They can't see in. I say we stride out of this mist and up to the front gates because we're a we're a we're here to pull no. out a big. Well, feel like they've horse. seen us now. Yeah, but only in disguise. Mostly in disguise. That's what they, that's the belt and braces approach with the disguise. That's what yeah, we were, mm -hmm. well, we can still keep the the beeples thing that's going. That's why disguising ourselves as the beeples was eminently sensible. Was, I say yeah. we, we march out of this mist cloud with uh, Ms. Oh No Bees uh, at our head as our manager and just talk our way in. Yeah. Yeah. Does, yeah. does this town not like music or what? Of course we can get they it. They must do. Everyone loves I'm it. I'm staying in the mist. <laughs> Unless they were too sad after all the orphans to ever listen to any music again. Well, then they're going to need the the light. The healing uh, power of Healing music. pop sounds. Okay. For the, the bees. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Can oh, we like sorry. shuffle, can we shuffle up to the drawbridge, the front gates or what have you, inside mm. Merylwyn's mist cloud? We Wait do have for... it for an hour. We've got an hour renting okay. this thing, so okay, we, okay, we okay. As, we we can take as much time in it as we want. Um, okay. We is there much coming and going the through the drawbridge, through the front uh, gates, the or what have you? The drawbridge is actually being lowered. Um, you hear a kind of dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Is it kind of all right? Goes down. There is still a portcullis that is raised to permit three riders to 
come out and then it closes behind them. These men are in the livery of the, the guards you saw on the wall uh, and they start just trotting out quite gently, just sort of like a, a, a slow trot to, to basically investigate the area where you were last seen. Okay, let's shift. Lads. Torture and interrogate them. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I think they're, no. they're clearly in view of the castle, right? So we can't. I yeah, think either do we are we shuffling past them, or are we or are we somersaulting out of the mist and going ta-da? No, <laughs> I'm and performing past them. the entirety of Eleanor Rigby. How tight? <laughs> is, how tight is their formation? Would you say um, it's within thirty feet? Oh yeah, they're all they're they're within a thirty foot. Radius, we could yeah. hang on to the underside of their horses and ride in underneath the riders. I see no problems they, with when that. When they don't find anything, yeah, then we'll go. We'll just be hanging on underneath, invisible, like. I don't know. I don't know if I want to be underneath a horse. Anything could happen down there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, yeah, it works for me. We need to get the horses like uh, near us so that we can like leopard What's crawl. The- into well, their own we can get really close to them. It's just What's the drawback of claiming that we, we're the people? Why can't and we we're... just walk in? Yeah. Yeah. The port why do we need to get... Yeah, but we like find another. We could climb we'll over. Just, it, we'll just we'll present ourselves to the riders. Well, we could it's present a ourselves poor to the riders. Fortress like, hey, design. Yeah, if you I... can just climb over it, we'll get them to bring us in as the guests of honor. Look, we're right. not. We are. We are in disguise. We're. I mean, I can't remember. I can't remember if Meryl went is. How, mm, how, ooh, I would have to, mm, no. mm, She's the, um, she's, yeah, the straight. equipment manager. We could say we captured Meryl when, because she's on the wanted poster. Bands don't well, capture, know, just, oh like, yeah, actually she's on the bear. wanted poster, that's true, she should have disguised. All right, we have two undisguised I, people, that is a wrinkle is there, in the is, people's plan. Is, every, is everyone forgetting how I can just, like, turn into animals? Of ah, course. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll ever forget that, Meryl <laughs> But of course, every look, every band needs a lucky bear. Yeah. <laughs> and what that's better? Right. To it's the to support tag from the bear pools. The bear tools. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Yeah. There are bear themes. All right. If we're not going to interrogate and torture these dudes, can we not like just rather than hanging on the underside of the horses, can't we just like shuffle in around stand, and what, stand next them? to the portcullis? But then we don't get to hang on to a horse. All right, Egbert, you can I hang don't on to want to hang on to a horse. We're getting hung up on the plan here. Let's just go with the horse thing. Egbert, if you want to hang on to it, you can. Yeah. Can hang on to a horse. You guys wait by it. the portcullis. Yeah. Can I try right, to fire another arrow over? So that it's not a zip line, but something... But won't they see that coming up. out of the mist? You're not... There, there isn't a... There would, there's there's let's just stand next to the portcullis, be invisible. When the guards come back in, we'll just step yeah. under the portcullis. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. There's a chance an arrow with a rope would be seen. But you're right. free to do it if you want. Okay, no, I'll, I'll stay disguised. We need like, you for your with... invisible aura. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes uh, I doubt right. the commitment you all have to the creative vision of the Beatles, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you I'm please... with you, John. I'm still disguised, aren't I? I feel more I'm like it all McCartney than I no. do <laughs> Corazon right now. I mean, when we finally, at the end of the day, if you want to st- play Strawberry Refields, that's fine. <laughs> If we're not careful, Corazon's going to leave and form another bee-themed act, Wings. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Brackets like bees have. (laughs) Yeah. Before before joining the hives. Oh, no. All right, we're going to go and wait by the portcullis and wait for the queen. No, no, let's wait until we've got all the puns out. (laughs) Um... Oh, Any more? Sting Steam. Sting Steam. Bees Sting Steam. Yeah. I love oh. Sting Steam. Sting Bee. Sting Sting. Yeah. Yeah. Good. We All right. Good? Let's go. Let's we go good? wait by the book. Okay. Because I'm going to start dealing out damage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> make me a stealth check, please, to get to the portcullis without detection. Do not forget that you are. You get a, a, a plus 10 from Merylwyn's cool. aura. That's a d- deck stealth, yeah? Yeah. Okay. 18. Lovely. 17. 17. Mm-hmm. Wow, my 10's really doing all that work. Yeah, a lot of heavy lifting. <laughs> Lovely. All right, yes, you all, you'll make it to the, um, to the drawbridge and to the, to the portcullis. Um, the guards, um, yeah, no chance of seeing you. Uh, they, um, 
sort of complete their rounds and they have a bit of a chin wag. They're like, bur, 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 bur. there's clearly nothing there. Um, they get out a horn and like <laughs> signal that they are, are coming back. Um, their their search having been completed and yeah, they are their hooves start to sort of clatter over the drawbridge uh, as the portcullis comes up and. I guess if you want to grab onto the underside of a horse, now's do your I? chance. I'm going to uh, do it. might so be who... suspicious. You weigh a lot, Egbert. <laughs> <laughs> My the horse will break, know something's up. <laughs> break that horse's legs. <laughs> um, all right, fine. Fine, not this time, but in future, it's definitely a plan I want to put into action. All right, okay. on the way out of town, you can hold on to a horse's underside if you want. <laughs> Good. Okay. Uh, so, so we're going so to walk... yeah, try and match speed with the the phalanx and yeah. okay. run into town. Just sort of betwixt another... betwixt the horses. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Make me another stealth check, please, everyone. Okay. So that's a plus another ten because of the 18. thing. Yeah. yeah. Still plus ten. Twenty three. Uh, Twenty eight. Thirty one. Twenty two. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Fine. You all should've make got, it inside. Should have got under that horse. 31 would have been fine, wouldn't it? <laughs> Not for the yeah, horse. This would have left my radius. <laughs> this spell is dope, Merylwyn. I yeah, love this great. spell. <laughs> we do it all the time. Um, you make it inside uh, Bumble, which indeed looks looks changed. Uh, the, there is a lot of sort of very stern Ooh, propaganda. Wait. We're in a town, aren't we? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. You're in a town now. And there is a lot of very uh, stern propaganda sort of warning you to be alert and mm. not to be taken in and like there are some signs that say like stay vigilant do it for the orphans uh and oh, stuff God. like that it's very kind of it's Sweet orphans. that hurts yeah sorry it, it reminds you of um sort of the the city in the ballad of dishonored the first mm. um, oh, city, done, it's done kind well. of atmosphere Done. Yes. I know of it um, well. Mm, uh, and yeah, you can just see off in the distance uh, the telltale sort of spire of the crypt of Ethelfrith the Builder. Um, Bumble, it seems, has actually kind of come up in the world because it's a lot more densely packed than it was. Obviously, they've Don't got have those less... orphans dragging them back, <laughs> yeah. them down. drain on the treasury <laughs> that they were. Fewer mouths to feed. You did him a favour, um, Dom. <laughs> oh. um, I, I, those orphans would be thanking you if they hadn't been smashed flat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, there are lots of uh, sort of streets you have to, to navigate your way through. How are you? How do you want to proceed? Like uh, t- all together, shoulder to shoulder, just <laughs> down the down the street. Okay. I say right? we find an amphitheater or something that like a town hall, something with a big stage. Get ourselves a booking for tonight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and rock the house down. I love it. <laughs> You know what? Uh, think... That sounds great. How much would we charge for tickets? Do you think? Well, I uh, know if it's like a, if we could bill it as like a stadium thing, hundred yeah. and fifty gold. Hundred and fifty gold gold pieces <laughs> a ticket. Yeah. It yeah. Can, why not? It can go that high. Yeah. If we get the the, the box for the VIPs, yeah. we call them VIBs. <laughs> Very important, <laughs> Very important <laughs> people. People. We yeah. Take three points of necrotic damage. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, um, one and a half points. You didn't see that coming. <laughs> your uncanny dodge. I uncannily dodge out of the way. Uncanny like, dodge. <laughs> the consequences of my own actions. <laughs> All right, fine. Oh, dear. Why don't right, we so shuffle we'll... towards the crypt and then we'll see about your world tour yeah. later? That could be our celebration. I think. Yeah. I, Probably. I think I we'll say Bumble victory lap. And then... Yeah, we can do a big Bill and Ted concert at the end. Mm. I, I saw okay. a poster. I think there's something already on. Uh, I think it's called Mulch or Do About Nothing. <laughs> oh, because yeah, of the orphans. They, they got mulched. Mm-hmm. Didn't they? Pretty yeah. insensitive yeah. play for them to be putting yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's and that's a controversial coming from the guy one. who mulched the orphans. So. <laughs> it's a controversial one. Yeah. Edgy. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right let's, let's, um, let's head towards the, the crypt in a yeah. stealth phalanx. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you use know the word what? phalanx um, more in the last 10 minutes than I have in my entire life. (laughs) I put on some large sunglasses in case the paparazzi are out. Okay, let's just make this one last stealth check. Nineteen. 
29. 24. 25. Oh, no, wait. Add that. 33. <laughs> <laughs> Just add around 20 to that. <laughs> I don't even know why I bother asking. You Yay! walk past uh, a guard who is, like, scrutinizing everyone's faces. Woo! <laughs> he, he doesn't even notice that that you you all pass in a silent, misty clump. <laughs> um, I pass him a signed glossy as I go. <laughs> <laughs> it's been ages since I've heard from Misty Clump. Um, do you look back as you, you go to see how he's taking this, or do you just sort of hand it off and, and, and leave? Well, Johnny, <laughs> if I'm acting in character... Then yes, I do look round. <laughs> yep, that's fine. You see him, like, he's frowning at the glossy, and then he sort of walks over to a nearby wall where one of the bounty posters is, and he's just like... Comparing your headshots to um, to uh, the bounty poster. All right. Um, I sprint into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to. I would like to cheese it. I say to the gang, "I'll see you at. I'll see you at the spire. I've been made. I think I got a bounce." <laughs> You're in you the run mist. Out of You're the in the mist. Cloud. The You're mist. running out the of the mist, mist dog. Oh yeah, right. Sorry, I thought he was comparing my face to the. the no, right, no, 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 the pink no. no. Dog oh. sprints out of the mist. I wrestle dog to the ground until he understands the nature of this spell some more. <laughs> okay. Ten minutes later, it has been explained to me. Okay. <laughs> and I understand the concept of the mist. Great. Now we've got 39 we minutes left on that spell. <laughs> in, it right, takes sorry. to explain. Sorry. In that time, that guard has kind of studied the uh, the poster and the um, the glossy signed picture you gave him. And he sort of folds it and puts it in his uniform. And he's sort of standing there, just looking distracted and a bit perturbed as to how that ended up in his hand. And why it seemed to depict a man with such a striking resemblance to one of the dread pretenders. Oh, that, but I, it was in disguise. It was a disguise. Mm. You're saying you had glossies made up since you put your bee disguise on? Yes, Prudence, because some of us are taking this band seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. Uh, I, I quit the day job for this, Prudence. <laughs> I kind of imagine that, like, as this goes, you're just sort of walking down the street with Prudence just hanging off your shoulders, like still with a choke hold on you, uh, but just like now, just like kind of comfortably, just being like, just sort of swaying, yeah, walking slightly. occasionally. Occasionally yeah. crushing the windpipe. <laughs> yeah, just just a, to let to know who's boss. that you're there. It's like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Prudence, if I never become your brain. famous, it's your fault. <laughs> it's a burden I'll have to have to bear for you, Dob. And I, I say and crush his windpipe a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, you make it to um, the tomb of Ethelfrith the Builder. Uh, it looks much like it did before. Um, but obviously before you smashed the door in, didn't you? Did you? A little bit, yeah. I think yeah, we did you a little smashed bit it and then you mended it. Oh, that's oh right. yeah, we mended it. Yeah. yeah. Smash mending. it again. <laughs> yeah, the door's the door's there again. You know you can smash it if you want to. Go on, dog. Have we have we acquired any new skills we, that involve we, not smashing it? Are we it? away? Are we away from town, or do we still need to be hidden? Crypt is right in the middle of town. Uh oh. Okay. okay. I'd say we put on high vis. I can't use. Yeah. So and be, and remind me about this door. Me. Did it have any kind of obvious lock or um, like the way gaps? the way to open it was to break it and then mend it because was... the, the, the 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 incantation on it was about mending, and so Dob hmm. smashed it and then mended it. Oh, it was a riddle. Yeah. That was uh. it. Yeah. Yeah, because there was but... just a, a a a wall the other side. Yeah. Can we do it in a in a low key way? Could I chip a little bit off it and then glue the bit back into place? Would that give would it that a work? go? All right, I go. Ch I chip a little bit off, and then mm -hmm. using some glue, which I have on me at all times for fixing the ship, <laughs> it's in character. <laughs> I uh, glue, glue, yes, tar. All right, it's tar. I use tar maybe to a, stick it back into place. Maybe a deck slide hand check. That's the one I'm good at. Wait, no, there's, there's bonuses. So. <laughs> Fifteen. That'll do it. Yeah. Um, to your surprise and delight, it actually works. You kind Sweet. of, um, you manage to, you get a chisel and you kind of, uh, you gouge a bit of the door out. And then when you sort of cover it in pitch and just poke it back in, uh, the door 
swings ajar ever so slightly. Nice. Nice. Did no one notice that, right? It was quite low key. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, in. Everyone in. Let's, Everyone. Everyone. Let's, Let's get, get in, in quick. quick. All and right. Close the door behind us. Yes. Um, okay. The, We're all in the crypt the, now. Yes. You are oh, all oh, we're Sorry. all in now, the crypt now. Okay. In now the crypt now. Stop the video. <laughs> uh. Crypt, you say? <laughs> not click on the. No, Yay! All right. Where is it? Come on, Corazon. Yeah, I, I almost clicked like on the Tim, Tim Curry from Command and Conquer background. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got it. Also good. All right, he as knows a treat. What <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh um okay so you um you now stand in the crypt uh obviously the plinth where the hammer was kept is empty because you've got the hammer um which indeed starts kind of rumbling and again you hear a dong 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 from the inside as the skeletons, we let uh, the skeletons out? seek your attention mm. all right uh hammer aloft bam skeletons be free you get a sense of deja vu as the hands kind of go from under the crypt like they did before and the skeletons kind of claw their way up and they even, out of force of habit, start going, We are ether. Oh. Yeah, oh, wow. Nostalgic. Oh. How does it feel skeletons. to be home? Skeletons remember it bigger. Aww. <laughs> you've been out, been nice. out in the world, you've, skeletons. You've, got, you've gotten bigger, that's, that's the thing. Yeah. You've grown the up. The world view's gotten bigger. <laughs> and our hearts have gotten a little bigger, skeletons. Since knowing you. you. Sorry, oh. you don't have hearts of your own. Well, sorry, yeah. you're going to turn into skeletons if you don't, um, you know, do a ritual. Oh, we, we, we all turn into skeletons eventually. Yeah, but it's really going to interfere with our music career if it Oh happens. my yeah. gosh. So. You guys, what do you think Egbert's skeleton looks like? Weird. Like a dinosaur. Yeah, do you think, <laughs> yeah. Like a big old. Do you think he has like, uh, dino. Like, like wing hands, maybe? I don't know. I reckon yeah. it's a human one, and then it gives all of the changes. But with a really weird magical. face. <laughs> I've never like seen Egbert with his skeleton. shirt off. Maybe he has like w little wings on the back. Do we know? <laughs> it's like a human wings. skeleton, but with a T-Rex head. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what it looks like. No, I mean, it's like his natural <laughs> skeleton is a human, and so it, it's. So just what's all of this? Yeah, what about my? What's this made of? That's a nose. magical thing. He's a magical creature. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just make it around? <laughs> It's like a you rhino bend horn. Egg butts into his yeah. <laughs> no, it acts. His body acts as if there is a skeleton there, but there isn't because he's magically transformed. <laughs> okay. This I'm gonna take your word for it. You're the animal expert. <laughs> this is just my theory. Because he's magically transformed. It's just right, a theory. Meryl has been working up. How are we going to summon mm -hmm. Ethel Frith himself? Ethel Frith, his, yeah. His spirit. Well, presumably we just put the hammer back in the thing where it's vibrating. Plug it in or something. Where we took it Plug from. Plug it into the socket. The charger, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah the charger in, back yeah. in its hub. Because that's uh, what we were essentially doing, isn't it? Is giving it a new charge. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Renewing the charge. I mean, it's a bit charge, more complicated ritual. than yeah, that. Be... Right, well, go on then, skeletons. Test skeletons. Test skeletons. Okay. Jeez. Just vital info. <laughs> please, okay, please tell us, skeletons. Thank you. Tell us. It was not so hard. <laughs> um, well, I mean, obviously, yes, you do need to put hammer back in. We right. don't call it charging okay. station. We call it hammer cradle. <laughs> hammer cradle. Okay, hammer Love cradle. It. Sounds very complicated. Like a baby. Glad we asked. And and then <laughs> um, it, there is. Uh, you see, there's a bowl, and there's a indeed there's a big brass bowl beneath the sort of plinth. Um, yeah. Uh, you got to fill that with uh, libation. Oh. For Ethelfrith, he he Ooh. likes a drink. Yeah, honey. What, what does he like? Uh, 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 skeletons, not no. Skeletons, not not been okay. drinking. Well, pro probably like while. wine or beer or something. We need to go out and get some because we uh, did not have a large. Do you not have rum with you? Do you not have some rum? I drank it all during no. the zip line. <laughs> <laughs> okay, was that why you cut the line when we were all in? Do, why do you say blood? Because I'm interested. I don't know. It's a ritual. It's a big bowl. Could be blood. But it, libation means drink. And Ethelfrith, yeah. as far as we know, was not a vampire. So Skeletons. you don't have to was be a vampire to drink blood. A vampire. <laughs> no, Ethelfrith was not a vampire. There so we beer no. or wine? Yeah. If yeah. we fill this thing with blood, then we'll know. 
Um, let's just get, we can get something. We can go and get beer, which is a long way yeah. away, or we can fill it with blood, which we have lots of right here. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, Merylwen, Merylwen, you can conjure water, right? Yeah. Or can you disappear water? I forget. I can I can oh. create or destroy water. Okay, so Merylwen, you could summon water and then Dob could flavour it like beer or whiskey or wine. Yeah. yeah. Non-alcoholic beer. That won't <laughs> infuriate anyone. <laughs> <laughs> it would infuriate me. <laughs> um, li- listen, uh, clearly... Clearly step two, um, proving bit of sticking point for bosses. So skeletons explain next steps and we come yes, back to please. this one. Yes, okay. please. Yes, please, skeletons. Oh. Uh, <laughs> one of the skeletons turned to the flame sky and was like, talk about having to manage your managers. <laughs> um, step three, very important. Um, you must light candles. That's okay, easy. Okay. Okay. It's yeah, for right. atmosphere, really, but we like yeah. it. <laughs> um, Love it. And then fourth thing, skeletons will handle... Um, the, the 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 ritual chant and dance, but uh, uh, we need dancing um, skeletons. We we need someone to um uh, to touch the the plinth and uh, complete the ritual and call Ethelfrith forth by by name. But um, not me. I can't even say it. It's we we get some other deity with a similar no, it's, name. It's it's got to be an orphan boss. Oh dear. Oh. Well, Dom, you're an orphan, aren't you? Yeah. I've still got two parents alive, as far as I know. So. I don't know where my parents are, so I can't help this, you. Yeah, Question skeletons. Merylwen? Sorry for this step. We know Merylwen's not an orphan. Yeah, we met my parents a few yep. weeks ago. Yeah. Egbert is Brian a question mark uh, also, right? Not an orphan, I don't think. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't um, I've been away a long time. <laughs> Anything could have happened. Skeletons always kind of worry about this bit because it can dredge up unwelcome feelings and that is difficult and skeletons are here for you if you have anything to process. Aww. But um, still, uh, Thanks, dog, skeletons. Uh, boss, if, if you touch it, that'd be great. Um, okay, now we can get back to arguing about drink. Right. <laughs> Woo! Good. For, okay. what, for what it's worth, skeletons think flavor water fine. But skeletons not exactly have refined palate. And to prove the point, <laughs> he kind of sticks, he opens his mouth, sticks his finger in and waggles it underneath his jaw. Ah! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it full on. Okay. All right. So you got any of that pale creating and flavoring could, this water? Just a little bit of it would probably give it a kick. I already that's used just, it to poison oh, people. Yeah, yeah. I forget which people, but I definitely yeah. poisoned some people with it. It was the right, eggbirds right. in the jars. That's right! I poisoned all of the Egberts with it. <laughs> oh dear. Do you remember Egbert when I killed all those Egberts? That was a good yes. time. Uh, yes, I remember. <laughs> Crazy uh, was. So I'm um, afraid I don't have any pale tincture anymore. All right, we'll just make got this, right? Yeah. 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 Water, Flavor flavor water. Like wine. Yeah. Do none of us have any miniatures? <laughs> just pour in. Theatre of the mind only, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well. Good. good. Uh, so what order we we have to put the stu- the, the the hammer in the cradle, the cradle. yeah in the charging port pop it, pop it in yeah, the session. hub the USB hub yeah all right pop does the it, hammer in the, pop the hammer in the hub put it in. <laughs> yeah okay. it does start to glow faintly uh, okay. with a kind of pulse that lets you know it's it's, it's doing something but it's a process <laughs> nice um, mm-hmm. yeah so that goes in um, so I I go up and I uh, create water which is where I can create 10 gal- gallons of clean water within range in an open container. Cool. So 10 gallons sh- is a lot. I like it. It's a lot. So I, I just I just fill it up to where I need to. It's up to Okay. You. Yeah, you fill the basin. Mm-hmm. And then, Dob, do you want to flavor it? Bit of salt. <laughs> no. Make like it taste nice. That is not a libation. Okay. That's a nice rosé. All right, fine. I place my hand into the water and cast prestidigitation and make the whole thing taste of the sweetest honey. Oh. I withdraw my hand. Oh, like a mead. Okay. Like mead. Yeah, like, like a sweet, sweet non-alcoholic mead. Yeah. Um, oh, lovely. It's the royal Come. jelly, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm going to go around and the candles. Don't. <laughs> lovely, yeah. Meryl went uh, By of. producing flame. Mm. Wow, so The flame you producer out. on the team, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> what am I, chopped liver? Well, yeah. Kidney. Aren't you missing a liver? Um, yeah, no you way, don't. A kidney. <laughs> it's a kidney. <laughs> but thanks for bringing it up. 
Mera went on on the uh, Beeple's pyrotechnics team. Yeah. For the first yeah, four rows may get wet. <laughs> Big show stopping finale. <laughs> Yeah, Ten I gallons go of water them. dropped on the audience. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, I can cr- either create water in a container or I can make it rain. So you can have like cool stage bits where you're like, ah! and then all the rain's coming oh, down. Yeah, 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 if we get a smoke machine, <laughs> by which I mean Egbert. <laughs> it's going to look dope. Um, okay, well, so we've got the candles, we've got the thing and the thing, we've got the libation, Stop all that remains. Turn to do the, do the thing, say the name. Yeah. Speak the name. Summon Ethel Frith, Dob. Reach with inside yourself and summon um, the. Hang on, hang on, minute. What? Skeletons need skeletons? to get going. Uh, they need to do the, the skeletons. Dance. Oh, they need start, to do the dance. Dance and chant. Yeah, there we go. Doing a little, like it starts Spooky, off with a little scary, stump, but then skeletons. it speeds up <laughs> and they start to. It basically looks looks like them doing the Charleston. Uh, oh. The room just becomes like a load of clacking noises. All the skeletons like. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, they aren't so much chanting as every now and then um, they just go "Hey!" at the end of a bar, <laughs> and uh, then they start again. Um, so yeah, the the room, uh, even though this ritual has been hastily sort of pulled together, it it does feel very atmospheric. Obviously, the 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 clacking of bones is echoing off the ceiling um, as the sort of soft glow from the candles illuminates uh, a sort of sphere of light around the plinth. Um, the surface of the the bowl of flavored water starts to sort of dance uh, with the stumps on the ground but also sort of with some strange energy as the the hammer starts to glow more brightly and then above it uh, an ethereal form starts to coalesce it's kind of just like a swirling mist uh, there um dob you feel a sort of nudge at your back as the flame skull who can't take part in the dance <laughs> for obvious reasons? Um, it can like mosh. Yeah, it's it's been it like its head. It's been <laughs> doing the haze, but apart from that, mm-hmm. it's like go on. It's it's time to make make the noise. All right, uh, <laughs> I I take a step forward and I shout, Ethel Frith, I summon thee. Very good. Um, the skeletons sort of stop and everything goes quiet, and the skeletons yeah are like. They give you a, <laughs> uh, an appreciative clap. And uh, the mist starts to swirl and take form. And then uh, a man uh, sort of looms before you, wearing sort of a thin, uh, like, circlet around uh, sort of ashen grey hair that tumbles down his shoulders and down his back. He has sort of, like, a very angular face with sort of, like, very prominent cheekbones and slightly hollow cheeks. He looks very wise and aged, but there's still a lot of like muscle in his arms. Like you know when, you know just like hard like badass guys like become old, but you know they can still bench press a bear. Like, like he looks like one of those guys. <laughs> he's wearing sort of a, a tunic with a large yeah like ooh, a ooh, ooh, try me. <laughs> like a, a, a big belt, and he's sort of he's he's uh, sort of hooks his thumbs in there and says, "Who summons me?" I do, Dob, and my friends, the Ox Venturers. With and our skeletons, now. formerly your skeletons. Oh, oh hi. Oh, AKA hi. the Beeples. AKA hi. the Dread <laughs> Imitators, or whatever we were called. Yeah. Pretenders, I think, but yes. Pretenders. Wow. That, it must take a long time for you to introduce yourselves. If you have to say all of that every time. <laughs> Actually, I'm normally actually for even longer. <laughs> <laughs> um, he puts a spectral hand on, on the plinth and goes, oh, oh, and helps himself down off of it, holds out a hand and from nowhere a, a goblet coalesces in his hand and he scoops some of the uh, fluid up from the bowl and he's like hmm not bad, could have done with some salt <laughs> <laughs> yeah Dob Jeez. Dobby that was the royal it. jelly <laughs> now what can I do for you well do you want something building no what we would like to do is... Wait, wait, wait. Dob, 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 dob. What if he can build us a rocking stage stage set for our, <laughs> for our triumphant Bumble concert? What if he could build us new guitars and they have, like, twin necked They're like double guitars. <laughs> oh, man. What if he could build, uh, whoever the drummer is, like a rotating drum kit <laughs> in a cage that spins and lights up? Oh my gosh, that would be so cool! And Egg, well, Egbert would be the drummer, and he could be strapped yeah. in, and it sort yeah. of spins around and goes up. And, and we could have, we could have like, 
Because we're both on we're both on guitars, right? So we could have like risers that like they come they rise up, they're mechanical, and then yeah. Uh, okay, Ethel Frith. Hi. Have you ever put together? And I know there's a little disparity in era between mm. you, a ghost who's a really old, and me, a half orc who is live. But have you ever put together what you would call a slam in rock and roll stage show spectacular? <laughs> well, you know, Dob, is it? That's a yes. good question, even if your manner of asking was frightfully rude. Um, I'm sorry. I have constructed stages on which musicians may perform. Uh, I, I tend to like to put the harpist uh, on the front of the stage where people can see the fine, uh, yeah. the finger work. And then where the audience can get a good view of the bit where we tip up the harpist and go, rock and roll! <laughs> I don't Do you know that bit? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. But perhaps well, if you... Like, we're, mo we're actually moving into a pretty experimental phase that's going to have a lot of harp and theremin, so this can be <laughs> <gonna> work. <laughs> prog. What is a theremin? We're going prog. Yeah. He um, dips you know what? his goblet again. It's like, ooh. This is having a drink. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, uh, Ethel, for us, um, we do want that uh, rock, and, uh, rock and roll stage show spectacular to be constructed. But if I'm honest, there is an <laughs> ulterior motive for us appearing here today. We are trying to renew uh, the ritual pact with your team of awesome spectral spooky skeletons. Um, so that we may remain bonded to them and they to us. And also we oh. don't get sucked into a hammer and become hammer people. Exploded, yeah. yeah well, we, don't explain we don't have to explain your own We don't have to explain your own ritual spell to you. But he puts a hand on the hammer. It's like, yes, you're promised to the hammer, I see. Yes, yes. I always thought they might do this. I always thought. Hmm, yes. Wait, they, they did it to us? Well... The skeletons have had masters in the past, of course. Mm. And, and it, we thought we were the well. best ones that they loved dearly. Apparently not. You're not bad bosses. <laughs> Top I five? Mean, Middle of pack. Yeah. Uh, top, so, yeah top, top, top ten. Five. No, okay, top, top, top five, five is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, like, you, I mean, you first bosses we've ever had to try to kill because uh, life under your under your um, your governance is 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 unbearable. But um, <laughs> right. listened after that, we've had some, you know, lit constructive conversations. Yeah, I've we don't to. we don't need to start the talks all over again when we're this close to getting. Uh, okay, things, all right. You know. Okay. But skeletons here, you skeletons, willing to discuss this in further forum? <laughs> okay. Just later. Right. Okay. I mean. In, in fairness, best boss is, is, is Ethel Frith. Okay. You're not just saying that he's here. If he's so no. good, how come he's dead? Well, I mean, that's I point why at Corazon he's not as if to say, he's dead. Good point. <laughs> Ethel Frith is. <laughs> Ethel Frith exchanges a knowing look with the scouts. He's like, they are rude. He's like, indeed, I, I am dead, as you say, and therefore I cannot build this stage for you. The skeletons would have to. So it is fortuitous you have looked to me to renew the magic. And of course I will. I love these guys. Hey. Great. Cool. Great. Great that was to hear. Right. There were no bad things happened. Yeah. Good. I'm glad it's so straightforward and there are Can't no words to continue blood being straightforward. Or... Mm. Yeah, so how does this work, Eth Ethel Frith? How do we um, fulfill the terms of the pact in a way that will please you, the great Ethel, Ethel Frith? Is everybody love, okay? Love your work. Yeah. It's, it's just that I offered you something you wanted and then you immediately sort of spiralled into a sense of dread and uh, anticipation for something horrible. I mean, yeah, it happens to us. Yeah, 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 usually. That's just our luck, really. Yeah, you seem phenomenally bad at taking good news. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah. Our daily lives are governed by what I can only describe as mechanics. Yeah. Um, that, that kind of sometimes forces it just feels. Into yeah, it just way. feels like there's someone sort of governing everything we do. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's. I, it, well, I don't want to get into it now, Ethel Frith. But um, if you say there's nothing for us to fear, then I believe you, Ethel Frith, and I am yeah. happy about yeah, what's to about to happen. Great. All right. Let me just finish this. What do you call this, by the way? Call the it. Royal um, jelly. <laughs> royal call jelly. it the royal jelly. The royal sampler. <laughs> call it. Yep. Yeah, royal jelly, but there's a Z in there somewhere, so it's cool. <laughs> yeah. 
The J. There's a Z after the J, after the J so it's silent. Yeah. Jelly. Royal, Royal jelly. jelly. Royal jelly. <laughs> Royal jelly. I like that. I do. I hope the next person who wakens me from my slumber brings me more. Anyway, yeah. he throws the rest of the goblet and Lift throws it over his shoulder, well. where it just kind of. You know how um, I turn to like uh, Dob and Prudence and Egbert and Merylwen, and I say, you know how when we ask the skeletons to do anything. Mm. And they they do it, but there's always like a sort of weird loophole bad thing that happens. Yes. yes. Mm. Do you think do you, do you think that's was Ethel for a thing as well? Do you think do you think maybe Ethel for a thing? He he sort of invent, invented the skeletons. Yeah. Sort of. I think maybe he imbued God. them with his thing, which is mm. which yeah. is to do bad things. Maybe. Well. I just thought that was a skeleton thing. I just thought it was you know being a spooky skeleton made you want yeah. to do kind of evil things. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, I like maybe a side effect. If How loud asked, are you saying this? Are you saying this loud enough that Ethelfrith could hear, or is this a no? Very quietly. Yeah, 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 I'm saying okay. it huddled to the others. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I missed that. If we ask Ethelfrith to do a, to do something for us, then what we can do is we can look and we can see if anything bad happens. Yeah. And then we'll know. We can study him. Making something bad happen. Yeah, we can study him for badness. That's how <laughs> science do- works, Meryl. When you've got to do it, run an experiment. Now, but I think you Ethel are Frith- an evil expert, so maybe you could, you could tell if evil was about to occur. Uh, interjection, I think Ethelfrith can't build us anything, and, and anything that is enacted is done by the skeletons themselves, and in order yeah. for that to happen, we have to renew our pact. So I don't know if there is a way to test Ethelfrith oh, okay. in that okay. manner. All right. He seems pretty on the level. Oh, I, I, use, I use detect magic on Ethelfrith, just subtly, discreetly, surreptitiously, I cussed. I mean, I assume he's magic. He's, he's a freaking ghost. ghost. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, unsurprisingly, yes. He is. He is a, a being made in, entirely of magic energy. Okay. Um, you sense no real malevolence in him. Okay. Uh, the skeletons did say he was cool, but then the skeletons also crushed up a lot of orphans into paste. All right. Mm. I say he's clean of evil. Obvious evil, okay. anyway. All right, let's, uh, let's let him go get for on it. with it then. Let's yeah. Clean let's of obvious it. evil is the very best we can hope for, yeah, frankly. It's true. So. All right, right. Uh, let's renew Ethel the pack. Frith steps up to the hammer and kind of rubs his hands together, and then, ooh, right, places his hands on the hammer, which start to glow, uh, starts to glow continuously at, at his touch. It's like, now, as you've surely notice my own powers are somewhat diminished by the whole being dead bit sure. um, and in order to re-imbue this hammer with power I must pierce the veil between this and another dimension uh, it sounds quite dramatic it's not uh, okay. it's quite a simple operation kind of um, you know how like uh, you put a rock in the sun and then the sun goes down and the rock is still warm almost like yeah. it's holding a charge of mm. heat Mm. That, but it's a hammer and magic. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So we sort of put the hammer into the other dimension, charge it up with dimensional power. Well, I'm more acting as a conduit between the okay. two. Cool. Here That's we go. Awesome. And he's shut his This, eyes this like, must be hard for you, Egbert, because you don't believe in ghosts. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't realize yeah. hard, he's a ghost. Hard time he's, for you. He's a ghost? Yeah, but you don't yes. believe in ghosts. Is he a ghost? This guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a ghost. He's dead. He's a dead guy who's alive. But he's right here, and he's yeah, like yeah. holding a hammer in real life. Like, I am a ghost. a ghost. He's a ghost. Sure. Well, I'm more of an apparition. Well, there you go. Ah, there you go. Apparition, there totally you go. different thing. <laughs> there you go. Oh, why, are the door, why, why, are the of, why are the doors of perception not being blown off? <laughs> That's mine. Because he's an light. apparition. You never said he didn't believe in apparitions. <laughs> no, <laughs> loophole. I see ten apparitions a day, mate. <laughs> um... He kind of pauses and raises his hands again and goes, Strange, um, none of you is using magics now, are you? Um, mm. I am currently using a magic to be disguised as Paul McCartby, the lead singer of the Beatles. <laughs> but that's, I mean, that is an extremely necessary spell. And, you and, mean this is and, not and, your normal appearance? No, I usually uh, look um, as cool as this, but different. Curious. Mm. Well, he doesn't normally have that mop top. Is that a problem? Uh, Do you want me I'm to lose the Nehru collar suit and the mop top? I'm afraid I am experiencing some interference. I can still charge the hammer, but it seems that there is something else uh, magical happening. Here. I'm in flight mode, so 
<laughs> it's not me. Inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, all right. Let's talk about the magical artifacts that we definitely have on us. We've got all right, the hammer. Your inventory. Yeah. The hammer's probably not the situation. Oh, it's not what that orb. Snakes? It's not that evil orb that Prudence totes around. Oh, I do have a... I produce a mystical demonic orb from... Yeah. Is it this? Is this okay? Uh, no, but don't ever drop that thing. Oh. <laughs> Hold it Too up late. to the hammer and see if it goes... Means you get a text message through your orb. Is this, is this the problem? It's not the problem. No. Okay, good. I no, really Ethel Frith. Yeah. Ethel Frith. I am wearing uh, my lucky underwear, and which I believe has a magical What do they magically do? They magically <laughs> give me luck and protect me, I believe. Do you think Plus it's one. them? We're... Hmm. Pants. Let magically protect your groin. We're going to proceed <laughs> under the assumption that no. But hey. you know what? If it's still carrying on later, maybe we can circle back round to that one. Hey, no <laughs> problem. Get those off. I unbuckle my belt. <laughs> Would someone detecting magic help in this scenario? I, could, I mean, yeah, let's cast some... I, all right, I turn on my magic detector and yep. um, cast around for the source of interfering magics. Um, there isn't really much going on there's a there's a lot of there is a lot of um kind of magic energy in the room because Ethelfrith is still kind of keeping open this sort of portal so you can see Ethelfrith with his hands on the hammer and then sort of above him there is a sort of a, a ragged sort of portal um beyond which there's sort of a swirling mist um and that that's sort of the source of the, the main um energy in the room uh, you assume mm. that's Ethelfrith but every now and then it sort of quivers it is like something is disturbing it mm. oh my gosh not quite sure what what if the disturbance isn't anything on our side what if the interference is coming from the other dimension from beyond good all right is that is do we that need to jump possible? into the other dimension <laughs> Ethelfrith do you think there may be interference coming from the other dimension from the other side another dimension Another dimension. <laughs> another dimension. <laughs> another dimension. Another dimension. Another dimension. <laughs> yes. Another, another dimension. dimension. Another dimension. Another yeah. dimension. Um. Well. Uh, no, I. Look, I don't know what it is. It's not a huge deal. I just. I thought maybe if one of you was not in flight mode, as you put it, that maybe this would just take a little longer than expected. Right. I can proceed. Are we, well, I want, I want we don't still have the stealth spell active, do we? No, no, no. No, no. no. I had to break concentration to do other things. And okay, Merylwen's so not, not an animal. Not an animal. Meryl. I feel like we're playing werewolf magic. again, and I've got to figure yeah. out the source of the <laughs> magic. Hang on. Dob. Hang. Egbert. Yeah? I accuse you. <laughs> I put you on trial. You're kidding me. Like Egg is Egbert Someone always magic? be tracing Egbert with his kidney or something. <gasps> what if someone's he's, being he's, scried? What if someone is using the portal to try and, like, find us, identify us? What if someone who has overarching magical powers and is good with portals is just waiting for a portal near us to open to look into it and be like, where are those hated ox venturers? It's a possibility. It's a theory. What is this thing Should of which you speak? We've got enemies. We've got nemeses. We've got powerful enemies. We've got adversaries out the wazoo. Um, yeah. It could be any one of our magical adversaries, possibly tracing Egbert through his missing kidney as a kind of as a kind of link, a kind of palantir, kind of fleshy palantir, if you like. Mm. Well, that's what I um, said, Egbert is. <laughs> if you fear you are in danger, I can simply sever the connection. No, 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 no. 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 We, we don't want to do with your exploding the hammer either. Okay, All right, so do, look, keep, let's... do charge the hammer. Yeah, yes. Let's yes. Keep it Let's okay. push Let's keep on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Full steam. All right. It's a terrible stutter you have there. Sorry. <laughs> yes, it come, <laughs> comes out he, when I'm nervous. He starts mumbling again, uh, and the hammer starts to to glow another time. Um, I've got uh, a bad feeling about this, guys. Prudence, you notice it before anyone else because uh, you know where the portal sort of is uh, mm. when you were doing detect magic. But it starts to coalesce and be excuse me visible in uh, the physical realm you see the sort of the portal start to um, emerge so with you just you know with your plain sight you can see the the rift and the sort of swirling mist behind it uh, the the rest of you kind of look up and you're like what is that thing why is there a magic hole in the ceiling um, and from the other side of that 
hole, you start to hear a number of voices that are like just making strange, incoherent gabbling. It's like a lot of that, basically. Uh, Ethelfrith suddenly like straight, just like we are in danger. Oh, I uh, must close the port. Who's got uh, comprehend languages? Can anyone understand that? Then I I have comprehend languages. Well, we'll use it, pirate. <laughs> right, I, I cast You're comprehend languages pirate. to try and understand the weird gobbling. I'm going to I'm going to go eat something. Yeah, me too. Look, I'm going to go rent some flesh. I'm going to go eat a thing. Uh, Is it good news, to... pirate? Yeah, it's, it's, not, <laughs> it's not. It's not great. It's not great news, bro. <laughs> not great. You start, Ethelfrith, they're going to come not through the portal the and spell. eat. Okay. okay. But we need to stop, I mean, stop them coming through the portal. I'm suggesting a big net. <laughs> I'm not Are you hearing. With me? I'm, I'm not hearing anything better than a big net. <laughs> the, noise, yeah. the noise from the other side of the rift starts to get louder, uh, and you see sort of weird, twisted forms starting to emerge and come okay. closer to the rift. All right, uh, I Ethel unroll Frith. my bedroll and try to put it over the portal. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. Ethelfrith says, look, you must protect me while I wait for this time-sensitive thing to finish happening. I understand that this might be boring, but listen, it's important for the story. And there's a, look, there's a, there's probably a, you'll encounter a better set piece tomorrow, I promise, maybe. Um, I imagine at the top of my screen there's like a loading of like, protect Ethelfrith, time until spell completed. There's an Ethelfrith health bar. It's yeah, a horde yeah, mode yeah. moment. Yeah. Wave based. Good. <laughs> Good. But I hope it's not wave based. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's Protective see. circle around Eth- Ethelfrith, I suggest. How well is uh, the bedroll that I hammered up over the portal holding up? Well, I assume. <laughs> uh, not brilliantly. Um, you can't, you've hold it up, and then a strange sort of arm punches through. It is a, a blue arm with sort of gnarled flesh and five claws that are arranged in sort of almost like a, a, a starfish pattern uh, that kind of Johnny, it starts to twist and Johnny, let me, put a, let me put a crossbow bolt in that hand. Let me do that right now. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, make me an attack roll, please. Uh, that's a f- uh, 14. Okay. That is actually a hit. Roll me your damage. Uh, six. Okay. Uh, 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 and that one is down. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, the the bolt kind of hits it right in the centre, and the the claws kind of spasm, and it grips at the bolt and pulls itself back through the hole. Uh, and then a, another hand comes slashing down and splits your bedroll in two. My bedroll. The, <laughs> the curtain kind of comes back to reveal. Um, a pack of more demons. Um, oh these things God. are basically, they walk around on, f- like, their, their arms are sort of these blue gnarled things. Their legs are like bigger versions of that. Um, and they're very squat kind of things with like four four little legs, uh, three arms, and they're like bleh, bleh, bleh. Uh, And it's like their little round torsos uh, are hinged. So their entire torso is just one it's enormous mouth. mouth lined oh. with oh. teeth. It's like a, a Venus flytrap, but walking around like that, and it's got kind of bulging orange eyes on the top of its head, and it's <laughs> flailing around. Cool. And it looks like there are a lot of them. Um, You're not allowed to take them as pets, Prudence. But right? they're so cute. Yeah, no, no. Uh, You've already got those them. two awful books. <laughs> six of them spill into the room, and it looks like more are on the way. Roll for initiative. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Critical one. Get off, really? <laughs> uh, 19. 18. 18. Okay, 18. Ah, 11. Distance, my favourite. Enjoy your <laughs> combat turns, folks. <laughs> Do you miss uh, a turn 11. on a critical one? Is there anything like, is there any sort of like penalty in addition to just going last? Not really. Okay. Uh, who am I missing? Oh, the demons. Demons. Okay, Corazon, you, you can are miss first. those out if you like. You have my permission. Nah, that's oh. all right. I'll stick with it. <laughs> uh, there are six more demons currently in the room with you, kind of all like, wow, 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 just sort of flailing around. God, 
Oh, six, six demons. Hmm. Dang. Um. Okay. Well, I'll, I guess I'll try and kill one of them. Um. Let me, where can I see the one that I've already damaged with the crossbow bolt? Yeah. Yeah. It's, let me get. Um, let me get a. Let me get a stab on that one. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, make me your attack, please. Okay. Oh yeah, nineteen. Very nice. Yes, that is definitely a hit. Could you roll me damage? Yes, I can. Um... Sorry. Damage it! I'm just counting the sides. Alright. Oh, nice. Eight. Uh, plus uh, proficiency. So that's another four. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, it should be, yeah, twelve yeah. damage. Twelve damage. Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, um, I would like to use my bonus action to hide. Can I hide in here? Is there hiding? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're a rogue. Of course you can hide. Let me just. Yeah, no, you make it. Uh, yeah, you kind of. Uh, it sort of whirls and tries to snap at you, and you kind of stick it in the roof of the mouth. Sweet. Um, you know, like when you clumsily eat a breadstick or. Or a tortilla chip or something, and it just like, ah, gets in the roof of your mouth and kind of gouges. Just me? No, I know what you mean. Yeah, that okay. sucks. Uh, yeah, the, you basically do that, but with a sword, um, and Great. it kind of gives this horrible shriek. Um, uh, Prudence, this is now your turn. Okay, so the more demons, they're all out of the portal. They're all on mm -hmm. the ground now. They've okay. kind of flopped onto the floor. So there's like a mass of six of them, and there's one that's ever so slightly further forward. So it's been tangling with Corazon and was the okay, first so one of three. I use an Eldritch Blast, double beams, mm -hmm. one beam on the forward demon that Corazon has already had a go at, yep. and then the second beam on the cl next closest more demon. Okay? Okay, got it. So I'm going to roll twice, roll attack twice. Now. Yep. Achoo! All right. Oh, that's a critical one. <laughs> that's not great. Wait, no, I can't re-roll on a one. Never mind. Um, but the other one is a thirteen, so a thirteen and a one on the two different pew pew beams. Okay, so the uh, thirteen. Okay, well, let's resolve them in reverse order. So roll me okay. the damage on the on the demon that you've hit. Okay, the demon that I've hit uh, is a d10. Let me grab a d10. Oh. Eh, eh, eh. Plus my charisma bonus. Hang on. Mm -hmm. So that's eight plus five is thirteen. On 13 on the 13. There you go. Great. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'm going to get a D10 out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10 will be up. Egbert. Hello. Uh, you get nailed with an agonizing blast. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, Egbert. Dang. <laughs> the recoil on these things is just wild. Dang. Can you oh. roll me the... Can Whoa, you roll me that thing kicks. That king yeah, kicks damage, bad. Please. Oh, okay. I'm rolling damage on uh, on Egbert now. Oh, so, no. um, sorry, Egbert. Sorry about I this. Did, it's very I embarrassing. Did roll for it, in fairness. Yeah. No. I, I hear you. Okay. So that's a seven plus my charisma, which is twelve. Yikes. Mm, sorry. Yikes. <laughs> Sometimes these Usually things when just you happen. Say, sorry. It, it's more believable if you're not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Prudence Don't you believe kind of goes this into. <laughs> Freelance goes into full on where, uh, 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 mm. I nearly said werewolf mode, warlock mode. And it's like pew pew! And then kind of you follow the second bolt and you're like, uh, uh, because pew? Egbert is. Egg, pew, pew. <laughs> Egbert is. Um, <laughs> Egbert is smoking more than he normally is. Oh. Because uh -oh. <laughs> uh, he's taken a good, good old chunk of damage. Uh, Marilyn, this is your turn. Okay, well, I have a look around and make sure that there's no glass ceilings with acid in it. And then I cast yeah. the... Uh, the they're, they're all quite um, close they together, are. aren't they? Yes, they're okay. all in a clump. So I aim a moonbeam at the clump. Okay. Great. So uh, this is beam, a saving throw, isn't it? A saving throw, yeah. So a silvery okay. beam of pale light shines, shines down in a five-foot radius. 40 Will foot this alert the um, town? Um, I, well, we can deal with that later. I, I don't, yeah. I don't think it should stop us. Stone. Kill these damn more demons. Um, let's find out. It's basically the the hammer of the hammer of God from Dawn. Gear yeah. Of War. Hammer of Dawn. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so five foot radius. How big are these things? Can you get all? Let's see. Mm. 
You can get... Uh, you can get five of the six. One is nice. going to be protected. Well, or outside of the radius. Uh, so what's the DC? What's your spell save DC, sorry? Uh, my spell save DC is 15. And this is dex. Is it? Uh, I'm not sure. Creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there is engulfed in ghostly flames that cause searing pain. It must must make a constitution oh, saving constitution. throw. Oh, constitution. There we go. Okay, constitution. Oh, okay. Plus one. Uh, what was your spell save, DC? 15. 15. Uh, you only tag three of them. Two of them well, managed to... Well, it takes to... 2d10 radiant damage on a failed save or oh. half as much damage on a successful one. So, okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, roll me some damage, please. Okay. So that's an 8. Mm -hmm. And a 10. Great. Wow. Uh, so 18 damage on three of them. Uh, da, 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 da. And nine damage on the other two, I think. So. It's dead. Yeah. Nice. It's not very well. And then... There. And that one's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the one that was already skewered by uh, Corazon just kind of melts. It kind of just bubbles. Like, nice. blah, 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 like uh, a time lapse of uh, a, like a rubber toy in a microwave. It's kind of... <laughs> yeah. uh, another one is... Another one takes the blast full like in its mouth and where it was hinged before, it's now hinged too much. And it's just <laughs> lying pitifully on the on the floor. It is, to all intents and purposes, out of the fight, you reckon. Uh, it is nice extremely way. badly wounded. Uh, and another one takes like some searing damage uh, and loses sort of the the second half of one of its arms um, and gives a shriek. Egbert. Hello. Um, I would like to use... I assume these things count as fiends. Are they fiends? They look fiendish. Absolutely, they are. They look fiendish. Medium um, fiends, they are. <gasps> are you going to do a paladin thing? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh I'm gonna my. Stand oh my back, everyone. Drink. Inspiration for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to use Turn the Faithless, uh, which are ancient words that are terrifying to, to fiends. Um, and cause them to use their turn to run away, and I'm hoping they're going to run away. Their aim is to get as far away from me as possible. I assume they're going to try and head back towards their portal. Um, so yeah, a turned creature must spend its turns trying to move as far away from you as it can, and it can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. It also can't uh, take reactions. Uh, for its action, it can only use the dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. So there's yeah. no way to move. The creature must use a dodge action. So I'm going to make them run away, basically. Yeah. Oh, okay. and it's probably not. It's probably not relevant. But if the creature's true form is concealed by an illusion, shape shifting, or other effect, the form is revealed while turned. But yeah, uh, it's relevant in this case. No, more more demons. It's safe to say, like they don't elect to look like. There's this. no artifice to them. Really. They're, they're pretty. Yeah. They play a straight bat. Those more demons. <laughs> so uh, say what, what you like about more demons. <laughs> But at least they're like honest. <laughs> you know where you are with a more demon. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> right, so uh, what what does it look like and what words do you say? Oh, uh, a bunch of ancient words. Um, I mean, they're basically incomprehensible. Um, what do they translate or, as, though? An old language. Yeah. Please go away, really, honestly, this time I'm serious. That's what they translate oh, wow. as. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's your spell say... Spell save DC. Spell save DC is. So let me throw. find it for you. Fourteen. Okay, fourteen. And these, these lads, uh, went to the same school as Egbert, so they're minus one on wisdom. <laughs> Six. Wait, you didn't we tell me so they're much... my classmates. We have so much in common. <laughs> Are we so different, you and I? Yeah. <laughs> More fiends. <laughs> no, really, I think we are quite. <laughs> a stranger is just oh, a wow. fiend you haven't met yet. <laughs> uh, one of them, 
actually manages to uh, pass the saving throw. Wow. So one of them basically puts up its dukes. It's got three arms and they're all like doing three this. Three dukes. The best one. Um, <laughs> but uh, the others Let's are all Let's name him. The others are all terrified. <laughs> In fact, the last thing I rolled was a one. Uh, nice. So I'm going to say that uh, one of the more demons is so frightened and is clambering to get out the way basically curb stomps the one that was already lying <laughs> on the floor and uh, oh. just smashes it under its feet it's dead wow. shoot are they heading towards the portal then are they heading they will be on their turn yeah it's okay. which is now actually yes uh yeah mm-hmm. they are all uh honing it trying to climb up back into the portal nice They're kind of scrabbling up toward it nice uh the one demon that's still around is going to Let's see who it's going to attack. Hmm. Oh, that's why. Sorry. Oh, damn. Sorry, Egbert. The dice are not your friends today. Uh, what's your armor class again? Uh, my armor class is... Um, sorry, one moment. It no. is... Uh, 17. Oh, that is not a hit, then. Uh, the more demon kind of, uh, let's say it kind of makes a, a, a big snap at you, but its teeth kind of go clang, and you hear like a Ree! like as the Ooh. metal scrapes against the horrible yellowed enamel of the more demon's teeth, um, and it, it steps back with a snarl of rage uh, and mm. is very, very unhappy. Dob, there is uh, one more demon that's spoiling for a fight, and five more demons that are. Uh, terrified and trying to climb back through a dimensional rift. Alright. I know what to do with an enemy that has a big mouth. Uh, I would like to um, and I'm sure he won't mind I would like to nimbly dick my... Uh, sorry. Dick. <laughs> <even>. Excuse me. <laughs> sorry. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, what a slip of the tongue. Oh I would like oh. to dip my hand into <laughs> Egbert's bag. Alright. I'll give us a minute. Go on. <laughs> Carry on. Dip your hand oh. into Egbert's bag. <laughs> yep. Um, Careful pull out next. one of his bombs. <laughs> and I would like to throw that as accurately as I can. And as hard as I can into the mouth of the r- more <laughs> demon that is still aggressive. And I'm going to try Have and throw it, it so hard. Could Corazon please stop giggling? Because it's saying me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Carry uh, on right. with your plan, Dob. What was it? Something about something? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, you, may, you may try to hurl the bomb into the more demons more. Okay. With my finest cricketing form, I want to throw it so hard that it that it like pushes the more demon back through the portal and it explodes there. That's my goal. Okay. Let's wow. see how you roll. It's um, be a hell you of can, a pitch. You can I can attack the... twice. So can I grab two bombs and sort of like <laughs> windmill two in in there? Yes. <laughs> yes, you may. All right. Um, so yeah, make me. Uh, this will be a Dex attack. Okay. Are, are you what is getting worth, that was going to be my plan explosives? the next move anyway. So thanks for you know, <laughs> thanks for accelerating stuff. I lo- like Egbert's like. Oh, thank you so much for getting the. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of check was it, Johnny? Sorry. Uh, Dex. I don't know if you've got proficiency in throwing grenades. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Okay. Um, but. Uh, Oh, you know what? I didn't use Bardic Inspiration. It's all right. This is this is over now. Um, all right. Well, that's a, a 90, 19. Okay. Uh, yes, those are both hits. Um, I'm going to make a saving throw for this more demon. To Do see you think? It... Well, c- can I ask Johnny? Well, the, obviously, there's a there's a, a fuse on these things. Hmm. Do you think it would be all right for me to? Could it count as a, possibly a free action to body check the more demon to try and like shoulder it through the portal before it pops? I think that is too much. Okay, uh, no worries. For one turn. However, I accept you your have, ruling. Uh, the force of your throw, because I whiffed the, um, the the deck saving throw to keep its feet. It basically it does get pushed back quite a way uh, to the point that I think uh, some of these demons that are trying to escape. Are going to be caught in the blast radius. Sorry about it. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like what to hear. What is the 
what is the damage on a bomb? Egbert? Egbert? Uh, I can tell you that. It is... Uh, 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 3d6 fire damage. Okay, so Ooh. roll me 6d6, please. Nice. Okay. Loving this. 1 plus <laughs> 6 Seven. plus 5. 12. 12. 3. 15. 3. 18. 6. Was that Ooh, 6? Nice. I think I rolled 24. it 6 times. 24. Yeah, it was. Yeah, okay. rolled it six. Uh, these things do have a resistance to fire damage. So, oh. unfortunately, that is 12 damage. Okay. Not, uh, not, uh... We did go to four. the same school. Mmm. Huh. Uh, so that's 21. And I'm going to get the others to roll throwing throws again. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's a one. Okay, so um, so that's twelve damage on that one. Twelve damage on that one, and because that's a one, I will make this the full twenty-four damage because it didn't pay attention in fire resistance class. <laughs> it was always Man, that was goofing. That was my favourite class. I know it shows. Um, okay, so to give you an idea. Um, two of the, uh, did I lose a demon? You killed, no, two, mm. yeah. did you kill two? Two of, the, or two? two of them are dead, one of them got yeah, curb stomped, the other one yeah. That's melted. Right. Mm. That's right, sorry, how could I forget? Uh, so, two of them are looking eh, pretty hale and healthy, like they're a bit dinged up. Uh, two of them are looking decidedly unwell. Um, the unfortunate thing, as, uh, doubtless, uh, Egbert will know, with sort of a sinking feeling in his gut is that uh, once they have taken damage, the effects of Turn the Faithless No! Uh, so oh, I'm sorry, they Egbert. Are, oh, they're mad now. They're oh, severely nuts. weakened, but they are back in the fight. They're like... Yeah. Um, have oh, any of dear. them walked back into Moonbeam? Uh, I, was, I forgot Moonbeam was still active. Mm. It's a concentration spell. When a creature okay. enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn, or starts its turn there. <laughs> so they, yes, Moonbeam. I kind of, you cast Moonbeam on them, and then they try to scrabble backwards to the portal. Okay, so they, they So I feel like, no, they okay. weren't sort okay. of in that area. I was area. just trying to work out the geography of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to say, maybe Moonbeam however, was by the portal, they got out of it, but then when they were running, they ran back into it because they were heading towards the portal. Mm. I just wanted to check. I think the one that just ate two bombs uh, <laughs> is is going to start its turn in, in, in Moonbeam. Moon so, right. Uh, so that was Dob. So now we go back round to Corazon. Okay. Um, so which of these is looking um, kind of the most... Shall I, shall I go for one of the ones who has the most health and chip them down or shall I kill one off? No, go for the weak one. Yeah, yeah right. I'm gonna go take for, off the weak ones. I'm gonna highlight one of the weak ones. Okay. Point them out. And yep. uh, can I use sneak attack here? I mean, yeah, you're, you're hiding, right? I'm hiding. I have yeah, advantage. Yeah, okay, cool. Yep. So I'm gonna get some sneak attack action in on one of the uh, the weakened ones. Yep. So I'm rolling attack. That is uh, 16. Ooh. Yeah, that's a hit. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna do my rapier damage now. Four plus a four, so that's an eight, and then I get an additional three d six. So yeah, sorry, I was just laughing because rogues are funny. <laughs> not in, not in a ridiculing you kind of way, just in a, I think it's funny that they get to do this. Nine. Whoops. I just laughed because you're a joke. <laughs> uh, so that's an additional thirteen. So that is um, what did I say? I forgot already. Um, what did you say? Nine, nine, wasn't it before? Yeah, nine plus thirteen, so twenty-two. Um, right, that's actually enough to kill off one of the healthier ones. So, let's... oh, okay, well, let's do that then, and then <laughs> I do a exciting combat roll into a hiding place, and then I recline. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of so, Corazon basically um, pops out of nowhere and just ha lunges <laughs> like, and pierces uh, his rapier through one side of the more demon. 
and then kind of slams that side into the the other, so its mouth is shut, and then kind of skewers it, like oh, it's wow. a like it's a cherry tomato going on a yeah exactly, like it's going on a barbecue, and then he draws it out, and the the more demon just goes Bruh! and and <laughs> just dies. Um, he then does a sort of diving roll, and you see him disappear behind the plinth. And then a second later, you see a pair of boots stick out from the other side and just cross one another. <laughs> <laughs> ah, a job well done. Take a load um, off. Um, uh, so, Prudence, there are three um, more demons. That yeah, there are. are. Uh, looking, they're in various states of, of disrepair. Okay. I eye up the two most disrepaired more demons. Mm -hmm. And hit them with a twin beam eldritch blast, one each, as per okay. use. Okay, yep. so I'm going to give you two attack rolls. Yes, please. Oh, that's a crit. That's a 20. Hello. 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 So that's a tw 20 on one and a 15 on the other. There we go. I've got a goose under my arm that I squeeze and it goes... <laughs> <laughs> Both I, I also squeeze seal game and he's like burp, 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 burp. Uh. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Blah. Okay. Um uh yeah, uh roll me the damage on damage. the crit first. So roll me your okay. dice damage, then double it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get that dice damage. Um and... We get a uh, a light Pew. spike for the crit, folks. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so that's that five one. plus five times two. That's 20 in your human maths yeah, on the crit, yeah. Plus your charisma mod? Yeah, no, that was or... with the plus the charisma oh. mod. So five plus five times two for 20. So you only double yeah. the dice damage, so it would be 10 plus five, so 15. Ah, 15, there we go. Um, but uh, yeah, that all that still uh, basically toasts it. Um, mm. It is nice. It is nearly, it is, it's not quite dead, ah. but it is flailing around and has sort of a plasma-esque hole in it. Nice. Like, wow. Would you say it's you wish it, it wishes it were dead? Yeah. It's a state worse than oh. dead. Oh, 100%. Good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's what um, you aim for. That's what you, you shoot see, for every single time. You see a, a sort of a, a circular hole in it that the edges still glow with the eldritch Ooh. energy. Like it, it sort yeah. of was magma-esque. And then for wow. a moment, uh, your vision changes. And instead of being sort of a glowing wound, it is more like... Uh, it's it's covered in green slime that sort of drips uh, and the smell of the sea enters your nostrils and you get a big old rush of endorphins and you're like oh he liked that one yeah. you it feels back. like a hug to me Aww. <laughs> seaweedy hug uh, you snap back just as the other blast hits the other um, more demon so can sure. you roll your damage for that I one I will and this one is a that's a 5 plus a 5 so Ooh, 10, 10 on the other one yeah. Uh, this one is actually, if anything, it's it's also not dead, but it is if anything worse off than the other one. Uh, it oh. is basically, it kind of, your blast catches it low and basically just saws off the bottom half of its torso and legs. <laughs> so the top yeah. half just <laughs> lands with a wet <laughs> on the floor. And it is there just like? Ah, wah, wah, wah. Oh, I love my job. <laughs> it's it very very unhappy. Cthulhu is very very happy. Uh, and yeah, you start sort of laughing. You see Ethelfrith kind of looking over his shoulder, being like, damn. <laughs> He's like, hold in there. I'm so nearly done with charging this hammer, as the progress bar will show you. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, Merylwen. Uh, I'm going to keep casting Moonbeam. I'm going to mm -hmm. keep it going, and I'm going to make sure that it's staying, hovering over the two that are left, I believe. Yep. Okay. Uh, what's your spell save DC again? Is it fourteen? So it's fifteen. Fifteen. And if okay, they so... if they save, I only hit them for half. Okay. So one of them has passed. Okay. Uh, but they are all so dinged up. I really don't think it is a problem. Okay. <laughs> so I hit with an eight and a six. Yeah. So that is 14. So one of them takes 14 and the saving one takes seven. Even on half, that's enough. It, it's enough. Uh, yeah, they they uh, they pop like grapes in a microwave. <laughs> they yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, they genuinely, they're just like, Bleh! and little gobbets rain down from the ceiling. The only one that is left, I think it's safe to say we're, we're out of combat now, 
because everyone's sort of in, you know, in their combat poses and being like, I'm getting ready to do this and this and this. And now there's just one half more demon that's just like, ah, ah. Just looks kind I of kick pitiful. it through the portal. Uh, done, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I fire you a crossbow bolt it into it as it goes. It's good! <laughs> the kick is good. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. Wrong sport. Burr, burr. Anyway. <laughs> um, kick it through the moonbeam. <laughs> so it yeah. rises <laughs> and goes yeah. through. Like a flaming oh, yeah. fireball through the portal. Why not? It catches fire, and just as like another couple of more demons would be making their way through, it just socks them in the face, yeah. and they get pulled back. Um, and... Ethel Frith goes, no, and lifts his hands. And there is a tremendous crackle of thunder. Um, don't worry. Um, it's... Oh, God. Ooh. Yeah, I love no, no, no. <laughs> it's an idiot wizard. Don't worry. Uh, no and bag. the, the okay. portal kind of closes. Um, and it smells terrible in the crypt. It's, I mean, demons smell awful anyway, but you've just sort of like... Cooked demons. Cooked yeah. demons, yeah, Burn without hair. gutting them first. Um, and Ethelfrith turns and says, oh, it is done. Thank you for protecting me, an incorporeal being, while the ritual was ongoing. What have you done oh, yeah. to the roof of my crypt? Um, that's, the that's roof of the uh, crypt is caved in, in a sort oh, of five... Dear. Well, there's a five uh, foot sort of oh, I hole. See. Yeah. We have a we it. have a bunch of magical builders. Hey, what I do, what I do Three is I'm it. like, can someone give me a leg up? I ask the skeletons if they can hold me up, okay? Because mm -hmm. this is my this is my doing, mm -hmm. all right. And then I cast cheerleader the pyramid with yeah cheerleader <laughs> pyramid with me on the top, and I cast stone Ready? shape. Okay. And I fix <laughs> the hole. I fill the hole in so that the the roof is. Not gonna have nice. water coming. Okay. Presumably, skeletons are like, what am I, chop liver? The skeletons, <laughs> the skeletons are like pyramid formation. Come on! And they start like, <laughs> and expertly build up a pyramid. And then yeah. one skeleton sort of helps you up. And they're like, you got it? Have you got it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got uh, it? Great. Done. Which skeleton? Uh, like Matt? One of the one of the skeletons was sort of hanging on to uh, sort of like the the sides of your sort of waistcoat, uh, and then. Uh, when you say yeah, he just goes brilliant, lifts you up, and just throws you off the pyramid. Cast feather fall on Merylwen. Thank you. <laughs> the skeleton's like, ah, come on, bosses. <laughs> this okay, is I let Merylwen fall about. the final three feet. You get Ow. winded. <laughs> it's better than nothing. <laughs> um, uh, the skeletons climb down off off of their pyramid, and. Um, they sort of, almost by habit, they sort of form up in ranks behind uh, Ethelfrith. So he sort of stands there. He looks very proud with his hammer and the uh, the skeletons who in life uh, served him. He says, well, that was more diverting than most of the days I spend being dead. <laughs> Ethelfrith, you're probably thinking that you've entrusted the hammer to a real good group of winners right now. Probably. Sorry. Well, you certainly dealt with those demons, Abley. I'll give you that. But um, as for the rest of my thoughts, uh, oh, well, dead men tell no tales. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. <laughs> What's the attitude? No, oh, no, no. I'm just, I'm just being honest. That's yeah, fine. It's fine. All Thank right, guys. You, Eth Ethel Frith, you did, you did a, a great thing today, and we owe yeah. you big time. We're glad we're not going to be in an exploding hammer. That would have been I bad. turn to the skeletons and and make an expansive gesture with my arms as if to say we we cool. Yeah, boss, is it? Look, this as far as skeletons concerned, this is part of ongoing dialogue. <laughs> okay. Changes need happen, but bosses do good. So thanks, thank skeletons, you. Skeletons happy living hammer. Not. Not con bosses into any more danger rituals again. Yeah. Okay. Ow. You rascals. Just remember, we like we like do bad things. Yeah. Like throw throw elf off pyramid, you know. Mm. That was yeah. Cool. Yeah. Ethelfrith. Why does that. why do they do the bad things? Yeah. Is that hmm? is that you, Ethelfrith? Did you in, yeah put that in there? That little clause. Well, no, not consciously, but um. Look, truth be told. I'm bad at magic. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, so while I in life I, I was, hmm, well, I, in life I was a phenomenal architect and I built a great many things. And then I thought, 
I'll build a lasting legacy for myself. And I did. It's just that it's a bad... It's a very bittersweet legacy. Because yeah. something always goes disastrously, poetically wrong. Mm. But, um... Yeah. The orphans wasn't that poetic. <laughs> <laughs> what rhymes right, with well, orphans? Uh... Morphins. Morphins. Anyway. Um, Mighty Morphins. <laughs> I, I am at least happy to say that at least today, nothing went wrong. That's, That's good. Yeah. yeah. It's Something's wrong. wrong. What? Uh, what? what? Something's wrong. What? What is it? Oh. Something's wrong. <laughs> no. Ethelfrith Ethel throws his head back and kind of like a beam of light goes up to the ceiling and he, sh he screams like, Aah! and just oh, no. yeah. gets, force gets forcefully like yanked from the mortal realm back to wherever it is he normally oh wow. um, okay. spends his uh, his time and uh, sort of the energy from that and the noise covers the fact that there is actually a portal like a rift has been torn into the air behind all of you oh um, and as you turn you see uh, a number of figures you see uh, sort of a cluster of, of ten of them, uh, all exactly the same height and of uh, proportions with which you are very, very familiar. There are ten sort of just hulking great dragonborns standing there. And in the midst of them, uh, oh, no. sort of with long blonde tresses, uh, no! is, uh, a drow woman, and she just points a finger... And goes, sees him. Uh, and before you can do anything, basically they rush forwards uh, like it's a sports ball thing. Uh, and a bunch of them just kind of block while the main body of them, uh, one basically walks up and just cow punches Egbert on the jaw. Oh no! Um, oh no! Oh, they pick him up no. and leg it through the portal. Oh. Egbert! Uh, and as you see Egbert sort of like struggling, being pulled off into this other realm, you just see Liliana kind of raise a hand and go, Hi. No! Then... No! Someone stop her! <laughs> oh Egbert. my gosh! Egbert! He's gone! He's no. really gone! Oh no! Wow. I feel so bad that I stopped him doing the only paladin thing he nearly did. <laughs> he succeeded! He succeeded! Okay, all right. It was just Focus his time, up. guys. Focus up, squad. Prudence, detect magic on what's left of the portal. Any trace? We need a trace. We need a lead. Okay, I detect magic on the place where the portal was before right. it went away. I get out, mm, I get out like my magnifying glass. It looks like there was a portal here recently. It looks like there was a portal here recently. Did Liliana drop any hairs, any clothing fibres? Uh, I'm talking me, saliva. Uh... Is there DNA on anything? Don't we still have a hair of Liliana, right? Not that any know of that. you know. Not oh, sorry, better. Sorry, I thought okay. we knew about that. Never uh, mind. Make me an investigation roll, please, Karazan. Uh, that is... If the line is under the number, is that... Which way up is it? <laughs> is the, it line, the, 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 the line is the bottom. So the line bottom. is the bottom. The line is the bottom, okay. So that's a nine plus uh, four, plus I have proficiency in investigation, so... Sixteen. Mm -mm. Oh, God, There's man. nothing. There's no DNA here. <laughs> All right. Nothing to take um, back to the lab. Uh, do we th do we think that the um, more demons were like part of this or a completely separate thing? What's our oh, instinct? Uh, uh, mm. Instinctively, the, the, yes or no? Go. No, I think there were two different kinds no. of portals from different dimensions. Yeah, I think this is unrelated. All right. Um, there is a sort of a bolt of, of energy and uh, a loud rumbling noise, and Ethelfrith goes, oh, oh, don't know what that was. Anyway, it was Egbert being eggnapped. Huh? Egbert's been eggnapped. What's an Egbert? He's the, the dragon the, man who was here. The, the, yeah, oh. the, the big He got guy kidnapped by portal those... people. Oh, yes. Oh. Well, that's inconvenient. All right, we need to go after him. We need to form a party to retrieve him. And the only what? way we'll get enough money to do that is by having a benefit concert. <laughs> Skeletons. The saving but benefit without concert. Without our drama. <laughs> um, you know what, Skeletons, it looks like you've got this one sewn up. Uh, good job. Uh, lovely to see you. But uh, no. uh, uh, Ethelfrith out, I think. Ethelfrith, oh. no, where did you go? Where, where did the portal? Why did you get taken away by the portal? 
Oh, I don't know. I was just torn away by some incredibly potent and powerful and uh, agonizing energy. Okay. So All right. You know what it costs me to say this. I think we should ask Binbag. I disagree. I think we should have the big cool concert and then see how we feel about saving Egbert after that. Um, without our without our drama. Yeah, we'll get a um, we'll get a session musician from the village. Ethel Frith raised her hand is like, sorry, no 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 no. Did you just say bin bag? Yes. Yes, the wizard, the wizard bin bag. Bye. Um oh. Ethel Frith says, Poof! He winks out of existence. He's like, I ain't See? sticking around if you're talking about Binbag. Yeah, exactly. He's gone. Exactly. Everyone hates Binbag. That's what I've been trying to tell you all. He's persona non grata in the wizard world, the wizarding world. <laughs> so, obviously, uh, there's a rising sense of panic uh, as you, you realise that, you know, you don't know where Egbert's gone and you're not sure how you're going to get him back. Uh, and you realise that you've effectively just been had by your greatest enemy. Um, no. And regrettably, I think... Concert. That's where we're going to have to leave it. <gasps> oh, so at least yeah. you've got time to plan a benefit concert. Yeah. yeah. Heart's not in it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I go solo with the, the with plastic, wings. The plastic Corazon <laughs> band. Egbert. Egbert's not even the best drummer in the Beeples. Beeples. It wasn't about technical proficiency. It never was. Yeah. It was about it's that about... special something. He had the special sauce. <laughs> well, um, I've never deliberately no. ended uh, an Oxventure on a on a real down note for you all, but uh, oh. yes, I have now. Sorry. We'll get you Egg- we will get what you back, Egbert. We'll right. get you. I promise, Egbert, wherever you are, we will get Stay back. Stay alive, Egbert. Hey. We will find you. you. I can't promise to try, Egbert, but I can promise to try to try. <laughs> We're going to get back almost all of your body, Egbert. Yeah. If we can only get back that <laughs> kidney, Egbert, we're going to get it back. It'd be easier to get back the kidney, and then we could clone him from the DNA. <laughs> no, you know that goes badly. Oh. All right, well, friends, I imagine you're pretty excited about this cool cliffhanger. Come on back in two weeks' time, when we will be continuing the story of what is happening here. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you to Johnny for another great... Ox Venture, do check out Dicebreaker on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Dicebreaker, and on the web. You can check out mm. cool reviews of board games and watch people play them on YouTube, and it's a great time. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Stay safe and have a great weekend, everyone. So Bye. confused. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Egbert, I'm just, I'm, my mind is shattered by these revelations. <laughs>